And here we are at the High Line. Oh, this is nice, ain't it? Ooh, some rooftop spots over there. That looks cool. I like this view. Hmm, nice. Well, I heard a siren singing. What's going on, everybody? Hey, y'all. Welcome, exploring family. Yep. We are checking out the High Line in Manhattan. Yep, so come and join us. It's really cool. It's beautiful. We'll explain the history along the way. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs> and leave us a comment as well. Yep. Let's have some fun. Yeah, let's see what's up here. And so to give you guys a little bit of history, the High Line is a former subway line, and you can see through the trees there, the old tracks. And there's a better view of Oh, even closer view over here of the old tracks. Really neat how they're letting nature kind of dictate things. So I was wrong. The High Line is actually an old freight line instead. They wanted to keep the uh, freight trains from crossing busy city streets here in Manhattan. Yeah, but then um, when trucking began to replace the rail, um, there was only like a couple trains going. And then in 1999, the High Line was threatened with demolition and they decided to preserve it. Glad they did. Glad they did. And with the High Line, you get really cool views of Manhattan. And way off in the distance across the river is New Jersey. And apparently, you get a special discount with this QR code at the Chelsea Market. This week, it is buy three tacos, get one for free. And some tracks veer off to the left. Looks like maybe this place used to be an old warehouse that had deliveries or pickup or exchange or drugs or whatever. Lots of very, very interesting buildings, including this super shiny one. Yeah, lots of really cool architecture. Indeed. And then you got the old school ones too. Yep. New school, old school. New <laughs> school, old school.
kind of futuristic looking building straight ahead here. And you got a rabbit. Interesting piece of art. Yeah, very shiny and sparkly. Yeah. Really cool, whatever it is. Y'all leave a, leave us a comment. Do y'all know what it is? Let us know. So we just finished the High Line, and here is Vessel. Now normally, it's open to where you can go all the way to the top, but um, I'll just say unfortunate circumstances, they have to keep it closed for actual climbing for the time being. Yeah, hopefully they'll open it again, but for the sad circumstances that they closed it, I understand why it's closed. Indeed, yeah. And here is a art installation. Oh, this building's really neat here. It has like wheels for feet. Yeah, it's called the shed. <laughs> the shed, that's what it's called. That's neat. That is really cool. That was the High Line and Vessel. That was awesome. Really, really cool. Mm -hmm. We're back down on street level. Yep. Now, from the High Line, we saw a sign that said brewery. Brewery that we haven't been to yet. We gotta go now. Yeah, go check it out. And here we are on the corner of 28th Street and 10th Avenue. Here's the brewery. It's Death Avenue Brewing Company, their tap room. So I got their Kolsch. Very light, a little bit fruity, a little bit tartness to it. It's good. I like it though. It's nice and re overall pretty refreshing for this pleasant sunny day. And we got the Byzantine sausage. Comes with some whatever. It's tzatziki. Yeah, tzatziki dip. Yeah, and by the way, I got a sangria. How you like that sangria? It's delicious. All right, girl. Very, very pretty mural over there. So we made our way down to 16th Street, and we are checking out the one and only Chelsea Market. stopped at the Pearl River Mart, got some Mao Bao, and um, we got 10 pieces of pork dumplings. Yeah, we can't wait to try it. In that bag right there. Look at all, look at that. <laughs> we're gonna show you, we're gonna show you all as soon as we get somewhere, we can sit down. Yep. All right, so we pulled out them dumplings we told you all about. Look how big. They're massive. We're going to dig into those. Yep. And then also, we stopped at a place called Mock Bar. It's a Korean spot. And they have, y'all should know this by now, ramen. I love ramen. Y'all should know that. And um, Sarah got... It's a, a cake stuffed with, um, like, bibimbap. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, it looked really interesting, so... Try it out. Yep. And I got this seafood ramen special that they had. And we're gonna dig into these ingredients and put it all together. Let's so open, opened up the broth. Looks like it has some shrimp, and I think on the description it had um, maybe calamari or something like that on there, in there. Yeah, that looks spicy. And then how are those dumplings? Delicious, look how big it is. They're, it's really heavy, actually. They are huge. <laughs> I'm gonna eat like three, probably. Yeah. <laughs> And then I open up, open up the noodles and vegetables as well. Let's mix them all in, on in. And there it is, all mixed in. So um, also has clams. So it's shrimp, clams, calamari. And about to dig into this broth, get it all mixed up. Let y'all know what I think. This is good stuff right here, man. 
Mm. Don't mind the mash. This is delicious. I love it. It's not too spicy. It has a little bit of heat to it, but it's delicious. The seafood is cooked perfectly in there. Um, yeah, I took clamshells, all that crap out, so mm. mix it all together. It's good stuff. Mm. I love ramen. Hey guys! Today was really fun. Yeah, I that was awesome. An awesome day. Three items off my bucket list. Sorry, three items off my bucket list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was um, a, a beautiful day, beautiful weather. That last spot we were at, the, uh, that food was from the Chelsea Market. Mm -hmm. It is between 16th and 15th Street. Yep. And also between, I think, 10th Avenue and 9th Avenue or something like that. But there's a lot of cool shops in there, mm -hmm. and, and there there was a lot of stuff that was closed because of it's Easter Sunday. Easter Sunday, yeah. Happy Easter, by the way. And but the stuff that was open was Amazing. pretty cool. Amazing. I was yeah. like, I want to buy everything. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of cool restaurants and shops, mm -hmm. and that the food that we showed you guys there was yeah. delicious. Yeah, and we even really passed good. by a bakery going out, and I really wanted to stop. <laughs> but I did. <laughs> but also down below is going to be the um, cross street at where it's located. Yep. Yeah, and we'll, the address. Yeah, we'll put all that in, in there for mm -hmm. you. And otherwise, again, awesome day. Highline was really, really cool. Such an awesome walk. Yeah, definitely. That was just, that was so much fun. Mm -hmm. And also looking at all the random, um, arc, like, modern or futuristic architecture on the surrounding buildings yeah it's like it's, whoa like yeah how, how would you live in that but hey cool <laughs> yeah, it looked like probably a lot of fun to design some of those buildings yes definitely but if you enjoyed this vlog go ahead and give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon for those notifications and otherwise, thank you, Exploring Family, for watching. Thank you for watching.